Okay, let's get on to 2E. Keep this train a rolling to uh, learn a little bit more about ratios. So we've already talked about writing ratios. We've already talked about types of ratios. Uh, you've done all your quick checks. You've done your level one assessment. And so now you are on to learning just a little bit more on how to write um, ratios. And then we're going to talk about ratio relationships. So let's go ahead and get started. So we've kind of done something like this before. The only thing different is now we have a table here. So that's slightly different than maybe what you've seen before. So we're going to write a ratio using this table. So these are movie ticket sales at AMC Theater in Normal, Illinois. And these are some of the movies that we're playing and some of the ticket sales from those movies. So have your packet out, ready to go, following along, pencil ready, filling in the notes. So it says, write the ratio of Deadpool 2 ticket sales to the Grinch ticket sales in three ways. So that means you have to do the colon, the word two, and the fraction. So if it says, remember we talked about order matters, so we need to look at Deadpool 2 first, then the Grinch. Deadpool 2 was 350, and then the Grinch was 200. So here are three different ways. Make sure you have that. Um, and let me show you this real quick. So... We've got 350 to 200 with the colon, 352 with the word 2 to 200, and then 350 you can either do the slash or you can do the straight across fraction bar. Both of these are the same thing. It's your choice how you like to write it, but that's the fraction way. So you don't have to have all four of these. You just pick which one of these two you'd like. And then it says what type of ratio this is. This is a part to part because we're comparing two different movies. So those are two different parts of the things we're talking about. There's no total involved, so no whole, just part to part. Okay, so that's number one. Feel free to pause the video and go back if needed, but otherwise we're going to move on to number two. So number two is write the ratio of total ticket sales to the number of tickets sold for Bohemian Rhapsody. I loved that movie, by the way. Maybe you should go see it. Possibly. Don't know if it's rated for you, but I loved it. Anywho, so we got total ticket sales compared to Bohemian Rhapsody. Well, it doesn't tell me the total ticket sales, but I know that if I add up all these numbers... I will get the total. So take a moment to do that. Pause the video if you need to. And here's the total if you didn't already do it yourself. It's 1,200 tickets total or 1,200, however you want to say it. So because order matters and it says total tickets first, we're going to put 1,200 first. And then Bohemian Rhapsody right here says it was 300. And it doesn't say to write it in three ways, so I'm just going to pick. You pick whichever you like. I like to use the colon, so I'm going to use that. If you wanted to use the word or the fraction, whatever, your choice. It only told us one way. But you, no matter what, you had to have 1,200 come first because it said total first, then 300 because it had the tickets for Bohemian Rhapsody second. And what type of ratio is this? Well, this is a whole to part because it said total compared to one of the movies, which was a part of what we were talking about. So whole to part. Again, if you need to pause the video and go back at all, feel free. But otherwise, on to number three. Number three, here is the new thing. Oh, need to scooch that. Here's the new piece that we haven't really talked about. This is called ratio relationship. So it's different than just writing the ratio as you see here. So let's read the question. It says, what is the ratio relationship between the number of tickets sold for Robin Hood to the number of tickets sold for Spider-Man? So right here, if I look at that, well, I know the ratio is 150 to 200 because that's comparing Robin Hood to Spider-Man. But it doesn't ask me to write a ratio. It says, what is the ratio relationship? So basically what that means is in words, we explain the comparison of the two things that we're talking about. So in this case, we're comparing the number of tickets for Robin Hood to the number of tickets to Spider-Man. So here's how we would word it. So this is the new part. Make sure you get this word for word. So it says, for every 150 tickets sold for Robin Hood, there are 200 tickets sold for Spider-Man. So for example, let's say that these keep going, um, these ticket sales keep going up at the same rate, okay, which we're going to start talking about second semester. Then we could, you know, make the same comparison. Like Let's say we double it. So let's say it was 350 tickets or I'm sorry, 300 tickets for Robin Hood and 400 tickets to Spider-Man. This comparison, this relationship we're saying right here would still be the same. It would be that much more compared to the other. So really, this is just a fancy way of wording what this ratio actually means. Okay, so really, if you just stick with that phrasing of for every this, there are this. That's kind of how I, that's the helpful hint I use. For every, so you can kind of see here. 
for every, and then whatever the first number is you're talking about, there are or there is this. So you can kind of see that pattern. That'll kind of help you. That's really just the ratio relationship. How do they compare to one another? Okay, so for example, if I was comparing the ratio relationship between Bohemian Rhapsody and Spider-Man, I would say for every 300 Bohemian or tickets sold for Bohemian Rhapsody, there are 200 tickets sold for Spider-Man. Right? Pretty simple. Follows kind of the same idea. So that's the ratio relationship. So keep that in mind as you see that coming up. Okay, again, if you need to go back and pause anything, feel free. But otherwise, if you'd like to try this challenge of creating your own example of a part to whole, uh, sorry, of a part to whole ratio using the table, and I know it says above on yours, it's below on mine, um, feel free to do that. So go ahead and pause the video and try and do this if you'd like. If you're not really sure how to do it, that's fine. You can look at my example here in a second, but if you're going to try this, go ahead and pause your video and create your own. And then you can unpause and check with mine. So I'll give you a second to do that. Okay, I hope you created your own. But if not, you can check with mine to kind of get an idea of what yours was like. And even if you picked a different topic, it should kind of have the same feel as mine. So I chose to compare um, the number of, t of tickets sold for the Grinch to the total number of tickets sold. So that is a part to whole because the part I'm talking about is tickets sold for the Grinch, a part, just one of the movies, compared to the total number of tickets sold, which would be the whole. So that's the total there. So part to whole. You could have picked any other movie that you'd like. You could even group some of the movies together because that would still be one part as long as you didn't compare it, or as long as you didn't have the total coming first, you had it coming second, then you were good to go. And that's a part to whole. Okay. So, real quick, what's coming up next? 2E activity, we got scavenger hunt. I'm not gonna give you everything, but this is something where you're gonna get to explore the classroom. If you wanna work with a partner, you're more than welcome to, and you get to make some ratio comparisons in our classroom. So good luck with that. If you have any questions, let us know.